Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today it's payback time. It's a new mission that was introduced in Alpha 12. Many years have passed since the first Sino-Japanese war and the humiliation of our fleet in the Battle of the Yalu River. China has emerged from our ashes and is now able to have a potent naval force. Not as powerful as Japan's, but enough to be a considerable threat. A squadron of two Japanese battleships and a few escort ships caused tension by violating our waters. The government decided to risk a war against Japan with a surprise attack that would serve as revenge from the defeats of the past. The weather conditions are perfect for an ambush. We can barely match the firepower of the Japanese battleships with our own battleships, so it would be wise to have more smaller ships to overwhelm them by numbers. Eight destroyers will escort your forces. Now I have many options in this scenario and I like that. I will build battleship, battlecruiser, heavy cruiser or light cruiser. I have a lot of options. The objective is to sink both of the um, Japanese battleships. The Allied fleet of eight destroyers will help me. Well, I, well <laughs> help. Um, it remains to be seen how much of a help the destroyers can be. I have mentioned this before and I'll mention it again. Destroyers and torpedoes in Alpha 12 or maybe even since Alpha 10 are really difficult to use because the AI is so incredibly good at dodging them. Um, considering the threat and a budget of 400 million, I think going with battle cruisers with big guns is more useful. And since battle cruisers generally don't need a lot of protection, or, well, they need it but they don't have it, we're going to go with firepower and speed and throw together a couple of battle cruisers. Unless we got some really large battleships. Experimental battleship. Oh, this is one of the new hulls. Let's try this one. 55,000 tons. I will build 13 battleships. Yeah, right. Uh, first up, make sure I have maximum bulkheads. Hold on. It, it says it's a BB. It's an experimental battleship. This is the BC. The fast battleship is the battlecruiser. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, this thing... This thing can get larger, but has less crew. Good stability platform. This thing is less stable. But the hull form is better, so it cuts through the water better. Thus being able to achieve better speeds with less resistance or less engine power. Um, but these are some very large battle cruisers. What sort of guns can I throw on? 18 inches, Mark 1. Or 16 or 17 inches. Let's go with 17s today. Uh, bulkheads, all of them. Modern tower. Secondary tower. And how far can I shift that back? Oh, that is the best that I can do. Because I'm thinking an ABXY format. Thereby providing quite a lot of punch. Especially with 17 inch guns. Can they fit there? No, they don't fit on one of those. They need a big one. Let's see. 17, triple... There we go. Now, there's still a lot to be upgraded about this ship, so I think I might end up with three battle cruisers, considering what I still want to put on here. Like a Citadel, uh, better armor scheme, some barbette armor, and torpedo blister, maybe... Let's go with uh, diesel engines, if they're not too expensive. Yeah, considering the budget, I'm probably going to end up with three. Gear turbines would lower the cost slightly, but I still want to have a radar, better range-finding capabilities, uh, some sonar systems, auto-loaders. There we go, we're at three battle, cru uh, yeah, three battle cruisers. All the anti-flood. An excellent auxiliary engine, propeller shaft, reinforced bulkheads... Uh, let's go with the better sonar. That way I can hopefully skimp on getting a battle <coughs> or an anti-torpedo protection. Uh, propellants. Like that. Now, I generally don't touch the armor scheme that much because a battle cruiser is a soft target as is. So it's not going to be capable of standing up to, well, any hit, pretty much. So f trying to make this thing survivable is... Not that useful. We have a pretty serious aft weight offset. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, okay. 
Um, and then some secondary guns. How about going with a row of four inch guns to protect against destroyers? I hope it's not going to be necessary, but you never know. It is neat that those things fit on there. Oh, wow. They fit really well. I like it. And then another one here and here. It's not going to do that much against the cruisers, but then again, to deal with cruisers, I have these 17 inch guns. We are targeting battleships, so let's go with super heavy shells. Um, oh, I'm, only, I'm, hmm, I'm down to two battle cruisers now. Right. That's probably because I made some system too expensive. I need to be at around 133,000. Uh, the auxiliary engine is usually pretty expensive. Propeller shaft, 138. If I reduce speed. There. The thing is, speed is life for these things. Let's put them at 31 knots. That way I still have about a thousand left. And um, what am I going to put on there? Advanced hydraulics to make my turrets traverse a little faster. Better barbettes, probably way too expensive. No, we're still slightly under. Not by much, but maybe just enough. There, perfect balancing. Okay, I think this is it. The uh, Xi Jua Zhong. Shua, sorry, that's <laughs> that's beyond my capabilities. I'm gonna have three battle cruisers with 17-inch triple guns take on two Japanese battleships and their escorts. So let's see what these things have in store. Here's the final lineup. My three BCs versus their BBs. Two heavy cruisers and six destroyers. So number-wise, I'm actually outnumbering them, but uh, those heavy cruisers are probably gonna make short work of my destroyers. I don't have them spotted yet, which gives me a little bit of time to figure out what my destroyers are doing and what they're built like. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these. Not this time around. Torpedo launchers, 14.7 kilometers. Pretty visible. Uh, pretty decent speed, 35.5, standard complement of bulkheads, that's not too bad. And how many launchers do you carry? Just the one, with two salvos per launcher. Okay. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure why we have a 3-1-4 formation. I want you guys to be on a standard formation. Standard formation, no screening, nonsense. Because you guys generally don't do that well. And we're going to find the enemy. Now, this is a great start. Um, the first shell that came in was a 20-inch shell that immediately hit the battle cruiser. I got spotted, and then I got shot at, and then I took 8% of my structural integrity. So they know where I am. Um, and I can't see them. There we go. Surprisingly, it's a destroyer. It is, of course, that... How shall we say? Ambush weather? And I guess that this is what they meant. But the fact that they can see my battle cruisers before I can see them is not great news for my battle cruisers. At least we can retaliate. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. We also took a 15 inch hit. Oh, these guys have two different battleships. This one is triple six. Oh, sorry. Um, six twenties. So that's the one that damaged me. Interesting loadout of the 8-inch guns over there. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then everything else on the deck seems to be 4-inch and 3-inch. Good grief. Don't approach that with a DD. Or at least not too much. I want to be targeting this, gentlemen. The other battleship, I believe, has not yet been detected. I'm assuming it's behind this one. Range to the battleship, 20 clicks out. The 17-inch guns already have a pretty decent accuracy. Now, of course, at this point, it doesn't really matter how I angle my ship, because my chances of uh, actually trying to angle against 20-inch shells, it doesn't really matter how you angle the ship. 
one of the ships ran out of torpedoes, so I'm assuming that's one of the guys over here. Let's have the battle cruisers. Ow! Destroyed main gun. That's the B turret done. Let's see if I can get at least some damage in before I lose the whole battleship. Secondaries on this. Four inch guns are opening up at 10.3, so we can do damage. The other destroyer line. Let's go. That's their second battleship. 15 five, uh, sorry, yeah, 15 15 inch guns. Okay, modernized battlecruiser hull. No, dr it's modernized dreadnought hull. Uh, loads of casemates. But none of them are used. Alright. Now, they keep doing damage to me. Another 20 inch shell slams into the secondary tower. That torpedo attack is really annoying because it's forcing all of my ships to turn around. And because of that, I cannot effectively bring all my guns to bear. I have, however, been able to at least damage them somewhat. That's their battleship. Try and torpedo that. And the main guns are targeting the destroyer, which is already starting to hurt. Looks like it's flooding pretty quick. That could mean a reduced complement of bulkheads. Don't torp. I'm going to need you guys to try and intercept the battleship as well. Do we have eyes on the torpedoes yet? Yes, we do. These are outbounds, these are inbounds. Which is uh, not a threat to the battle cruisers. Oh, grief. That's the A turret popped off and the B turret destroyed. Most of the bow is on fire. So at this rate, um, I won't have a battle cruiser soon. And I have very little to show for it. Standard bulkheads, huh. Could have fooled me. A torpedo slams into the destroyer over there. Oh, that's going to be one dead destroyer. But what about the torpedoes here? This is one solo torp. And the rest of the DD seem fine. Now, because of this torpedo, I had to turn the battle cruisers, which brings me closer to the enemy battleships. It is really not where I want to be. But uh, there's not that much that I can do about it. Um, here's the heavy cruiser group. You know what? Torpedo those. Screw it. We need to dump these torps. And hopefully they're going to run long and might accidentally hit a battleship. Who knows? Destroyer Oitis seems to be crippled enough to sink soon. Yeah, there she goes. That's the stern turrets. One of them turning, one of them ready on on target. Accuracy 20%. That's respectable for 16 kilometers out. Start smoking up. Flyer, flyer and flooding. Yes, sure. Fire and flooding on that ship. Uh, why are we trying to torpedo a destroyer? I would much, much rather we try and cut in front of the battleship and try to intercept it and torp it. Slow it down even more and let the battle cruisers take it apart. Sabokazi is taking a lot of fire. Five inch guns mostly doing the damage. I was actually expecting the four inch guns to do that. Oh, torpedo spotted. Oh, it was just a single one. These guys have one... One quintuple and one single launcher. Oh, that's survivable. Their 20-inch battleship is now starting to really hurt. There's the rest of the salvo from that DD. So I can just fairly safely ignore this. Unfortunately, the Xu Zhao seems to be... Well, she's useful if she's sailing away from the target. But her bow is just gone. There's nothing left of that thing. Look at her. The poor ship. Poor thing. What have they done to you? Ah, oh, they're still doing it. Range, 12. Keep going. 
Yeah, the battle cruisers are now able to bring all of their guns to bear. Well, maybe not so much this one yet. She still has her stern turret turning around. Look at these guns. The 15 inch is still capable of damaging the battle cruiser. How are our torpedoes looking? Did we scare off the battle? No, the heavy cruisers yet. I'm definitely doing all sorts of fancy maneuvers, but I'm not even sure if that's in response to my torpedo threat. Let's try and keep putting some pressure on the DD here. Torpedoes off. Another destroyer group. Range 11-3. We might be able to send some torpedoes that way. No, she's heading away. Never mind. Let's not. Alright, so far, not too bad. One of my battle cruisers is hurting, but not dead. She can still inflict damage. Although she's not doing a... <laughs> Right. That's not even the damaged battle cruiser. That's the uh, Foshan. Let me guess. Yeah. Flash fire. She popped a turret. Now I'm down to one effective battle cruiser on full health. And one which is very much crippled. This is not going so well. Mikaho. 20 inch guns. Chance to pen only 45. That's pretty bad. Chance to pen me? 100. <laughs> so anything that hits is gonna kill me. Or, well, not necessarily kill me, but it has a substantial chance to deal damage. Okay. Well, that's not great. Uh, fling some high explosive their way and see if we can burn them down a little bit. At least hit some critical systems if you can. She has maximum bulkheads, so she's a tank of a battleship. Oh, you're in so much trouble. Maybe, surely because of her low speed, she'll be able to dodge them. But it's not going to be by much. Nah. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. The other battleship has been identified as well. Minimum bulkheads. Chance to pan that is 52. Right. It's not stellar. Where the hell did those torpedoes go? Oh, we dodged all of them. Well done. How are the guys here doing? One of them took damage. Two of them took damage. Ideally, I would torpedo the Moshun. Because she's the weakest one. What the shit? This is not well. <laughs> Let me guess. Flash fire, huh? Yeah, seems to happen a lot these days. Smoke it up. Torp it out. No, there are torpedoes coming this way, but the uh, Hui Xing should be able to survive that. So now we have one battle cruiser left, and that's the damaged one. This is basically pointless at this stage. This is not getting payback in. This is taking payback from the Japanese. This is once again getting your ass handed to you. Let's try something else. Firepower and speed, but on a battleship. New design. Modern battleship. Which interestingly is smaller than the fast battleship, aka the battle cruiser. What the hell? Uh, let's make it fairly quick. 30 knots. We're going to force this thing to run on diesels, oil, better turning circle, auxiliary, lots of armor, uh, all the torpedo belts, improved citadel protection, anti-flood, reinforced bulkheads, all the bulkheads. I said all the bulkheads. Oh. This new hull has options. That's a beautiful superstructure. Nice. How long is my secondary tower? 
Hold on. This thing has a seven long range accuracy. Five. What if I go for something that does not have a long range accuracy bonus? So I can just push in closer. Tall secondary. I'm looking for something that improves aiming speed. This is not really it. Maybe this one. Base accuracy plus 12, plus 14, 15. Ah, never mind. I'll just put that over there. Throw in a funnel. It's going to be uncomfortable sitting up there, but fortunately I don't have to do that. What sort of turrets can we put on those spotlight slots? You can put fives. You can even put sixes. Seven's too big. Okay, sixes it is. Right. Um, if I want to race into targets, I won't need a fantastic rangefinder, nor a great radar, but I will need quite a bit of uh, sonar. I'll need the fastest turret rotation speed and the fastest reload. Two powder, heavy shells. Main armament does not need to be as big as I used to have it. So I guess we can go with 15 inch guns. Let's make this a bit more of a brawler. Uh, accuracy 21, 22, 19, but it throws up more shells. Besides, I intend to be fighting at fairly short range. So let's go for that. Grief, this thing does not have a lot of displacement. What am I going to do with all this deck space if I don't have the displacement to work it? Look at that. 60,000 ton battleship. But I just don't have any more room for anything. What if I go for gear turbines? That's even heavier? Damn. I will only build two battleships this way. How the hell are you supposed to do this mission? Because this way, I don't feel too confident about what we're trying to do here. Uh, the six inch guns, not gonna be terribly effective against the battleship. The heavy cruiser, maybe. Let's put some eight inches over there. Jesus. I won't even be able to up my armor. Hold on. If this is the way that the ship's gonna be handling, then maybe going with a lot of speed is not really the answer. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna try it anyway. Four inch single guns. Most accurate, at least I hope. Can we throw in any three inch guns? Mm, no. Well, we can do some of them up there, but that's really the only spot that's accommodating. Okay. Well, if that's the way it's going to be. Let's see if we can put this on a barbette. And that way buy ourselves a bit more deck space, as it were. No. Makes the ship too heavy. Okay. I was hoping to put this on a barbette. And then put a whole bunch of three inches around it. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. What else am I going to get? Uh, a bit more belt extended armor, I guess. But that's going to be the end of the displacement options. Seven inch. Yeah, that's about it. There. 16.3. All right, let's put this one through the ringer. So, new attempt. Two battleships meet, two other battleships. My shells and guns are not that great, so closing in is the first order. Heavy cruisers, six destroyers. Fun times are had by all. Uh, normal formation in a line abreast format. And hopefully this way we can close in, bring most of our guns to bear, and see what the enemy has in store. The destroyers, I want you guys to scout. These are different DDs, of course. They have more torpedo launchers. But only one salvo. Make them count. Maximum bulkheads, so at least they'll be able to get to the target. 
Uh, and getting to the target involves getting closer than 10 kilometers, provided that the target is coming towards you. That is not necessarily a great position to be in. A bit of clanging of the DDs in the battleship. This is a Shilang and a Yu Ying. Let's have the Shilang slow down a little bit. Ah, there we go. Identity confirmed. Heavy cruiser. That's a fairly normal looking heavy cruiser build. Range, 16 clicks. Chance to hit, pretty damn bad. But that's kind of expected considering the range. More destroyers have been spotted. You know what, let's just have these guys go separate because managing them is going to be a pain as is. Contact, one of the battleships. These guys are packing 12. 12 20 inch guns. Good grief. Could you not? That's going to be annoying. And potentially, uh, well, not necessarily an insta kill, but it is something that's going to do a lot of damage to my ships. I hope that my little, well, relatively little 15 inch guns are going to be doing some work against them. Maybe the 6 inchers can do something against the cruiser. Uh, oh, sorry, it's a destroyer here. Maybe they can tickle it a bit. But beyond that, not that much. Their 15-inch other battleship is already starting to hit and damage the Shiling. That's this one. 12 15-inch guns. Right. Slow down. Uh, destroyers need to be at 10 kilometers out. Target that one. Actually, you guys are going to turn the other way before I make myself one huge torpedo target. You guys target that one and turn. Smoke up. Smoke up. We have inflicted our first bit of damage on the battleship, but it was just a scratch. Torpedoes in the water. How much of a torpedo blister did I put on? Four. Turning circle 723. Might be able to pull the ship into just eating one torpedo. No, she. Yeah, she did get hit. Aw. Lan Zhao took a 15 inch <laughs> explosive hit. Right. Uh, can we quickly eliminate a heavy cruiser, please? Because then our DDs have a slightly easier time of it. Chance to hit, 10%. If 15 inch hits a high explosive, or it hits a heavy cruiser, then we should be able to get... Well, get a few hits in and the thing will either sink, or it will start getting crippled to the point where it's no longer as much of a threat. I hate it that my DDs are not capable of taking any kind of... Well, more than one torpedo attack. Oh shit, this is heavy cruiser Nishin. 7 inch guns, torpedoes all over the place. Maximum bulkheads. Great, they sent in another tank. Um, not, to, not to worry, I was going to say, until half the ship got disintegrated. What the fuck was that? 20 inch hits the bow. It was two shells impacting one second after the other. Yeah, brawling is not the answer here either. So trying to stay more or less at range, which, well, got thwarted because of a torpedo attack, didn't work. Pushing in doesn't work because I don't have the displacement to put on a lot of secondaries and thereby quickly wipe out their ships. Uh, I want to get an identification on these ships to see if I would have any kind of a chance. I'm very much not expecting it, but I want to at least find out. Yeah, this thing is toast. She is getting murdered by those Japanese battleships. 92% ID. 95. At this point, I'm not even trying anymore. 
just want to see what sort of a chance I would have. Kashima, chance to pen. 39%. Chance to pen me is probably 100. No, not quite. But fairly close. Alright. New plan. Uh, firepower and speed. But we're going to go with a small ship. We're going to go with a compact light cruiser. And these are going to be really compact light cruisers. <laughs> I'll be building 30 of them. Uh, how fast can we th make these things? 50 knots. I'll take it. I just don't think that my engines are really up to snuff. Yeah, they would be... <laughs> they would be three times too heavy. Right. Okay. Uh, main tower. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, this is going to be a torpedo boat build. Ish. Secondary tower here. Funnel over there. Ship is overweight. Why? Max it out. There we go. Secondary tower there. Main tower here. Torpedo launchers. Ideally as sneakily as possible. One launcher there, one launcher there, and one launcher here. I'll have an overlooking main turret. A super firing turret. I don't think I need much more than 5 inch or 6 inch to try and deal at least with some of the battle... I'm oh, sorry, with some of the destroyers. Uh, actually, let's put those here, 2 and 2. And then put this thing here. Can I put another? I can, sort of. But I actually want it over there. And then if I could bring another one of these, I could fire over my stern torpedo launcher. There. I will build 28 light cruisers. Yeah, right. Uh, actually, I don't need radar. We don't need radar where we're going. I want to have large torpedoes, 21 inch. And they're going to be electrics. The ship is 10 tons too heavy. The ship also does not have any kind of protection. There, now we're under our budget again. We're underweight. Some parts are badly placed. Which one? Oh, here. It's these torpedo launchers that are having a bad time. Alright, once again then. Try and fit the torpedo launcher on there. There we go. I'll build 26 of these behemoths. Well, not so much behemoths. Uh, their chance to survive is very, very low. Uh, nor do I care much for their survival. It's just going to be trying to get as close to the target as possible. Drop torpedoes. And then, well, either ram the target or anything that just makes the ship go away. The battleships. Because that's the objective. The battleships need to be sunk. Go for oil. I don't care about the budget much. Managing 20 light cruisers is going to be hell, though. 14.7% for weight offset. Yeah. Twelve. Ah, whatever. The weight offset is usually a problem if you're trying to accurately gun down stuff, which is not something that I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to launch as many torpedoes at them as I can. So, let's try this again. Third time. Alright. At least number-wise, we're in a, a small advantage. We have 27 ships against their 10. But the chance that most of these light cruisers make it back to the dock is not that great. Um, managing all of these is going to be a small logistical nightmare. Because they are all over the place. I want all the DDs in one group. Uh, you can join them. And that's... For some reason you're flying solo. Don't do that. Here are DDs and here are DDs. So join 6 and 7 together. Alright, enemy to the north once again. Don't launch torps. Your torps are 12.6 kilometer range. Pretty sneaky. 
You have minimum bulkheads. Oh, that's going to be more Ch more Chinese ships, which are not going to come back to dock. Do not torp. All of you, do not torp unless otherwise directed. Now, none of these things have any kind of sonar system, so the chance that I'll get hit at least once with a torpedo is about 100%. I don't see them coming, and uh, they're going to hurt like a, well, <laughs> they're going to hit like a freight train, let me put it that way. Let's see. Uh, this is why I do not like having a lot of ships, because it's just very, very difficult to manage them all. Let's see, what diff is this? This is diff 3. Ah, okay, we can merge diffs 1 and 3, thereby creating one large line of 8 light cruisers. Over here we have 3 of them. Alright, here we go. One of the ships has been spotted, the Linhai. Currently the lead ship of the group. And that is pretty bad news for the Linhai, because she's going to be under a ton of fire. Let's smoke up that div. Tell the other div to turn to starboard. Because ideally, I would be attacking with one, one, one really large swarm. But... It's the formation system that's making that a bit difficult. Okay, we got hit by a 6 inch, so that's... Oh, and a 13. So their battleship is now only packing 13 inch guns. Okay. That's not too bad, but anything can kill a light cruiser. Still got formation shit going on here. Just detach all of you, will you? No, not... Jesus Christ. Now I have one huge formation. Detach. Just go that way. The swarm attack is on. I will manage all of these ships single, as long as I can manage that. Which probably isn't going to be very long. Let's see if everybody's more or less moving in the same direction now. Seems to be. Alright. Bring me a Japanese battle... oh, ship. 20 inch guns. Right. First blood to the Japanese. It was never going to go to my team, that's for sure. My fleet simply does not have the staying power. Contact. Is that actually a battleship? Yeah. This one is packing 12 13 inch guns. That's a pretty ideal counter to light cruisers. This one is packing 8 20 inch guns. Okay. Range 9.7, which means that you're actually in range. This is probably going to be death by a thousand torps. If I can manage a hit. You guys have two salvos per. Just aggressively launch. Oh god, there's torpedoes all over the place. Launch! Torpedoes away. Thank god that was just in time. Where's the rest of the torps? Here. That would be a heavy cruiser, I imagine. Yes. Range 10. Torpedo range 12-7. You should be fine. Starboard port. You should be fine. You'll be, you'll be fine. You might not be fine. The Puyang. Turn. Turn a bit more. Longhua is done. Alright, well she got her torpedoes off. Which means that essentially she already completed her mission. Uh oh. 
Those torpedoes were aimed at the destroyer. We're gonna go there, best speed. Oh, grief, this thing is gonna be dying soon. I think this approach is also not gonna work. How far away is the other battleship? 8.7, I'll take it. Just launch it if you can. Zhu Yi is down. Hui Xing has detected torpedoes. A torpedo hits a light cruiser. Right. Ah, battleship Kaga. Many bulkheads. Anti torpedo 3. That's going to be problematic. Let's try not steering directly into a torp. If it can be helped. How are our torps doing? Well, we might hit one or two on the jetsu. Oh, sorry, setsu. Maybe three, even. There. Now we're getting somewhere. I think that's more damage than I've inflicted in the past two attempts. I'll take it. Unfortunately, the rest of the light cruisers are not quite heading the wrong way. There goes the Huixing. How's that flooding going for you? It's not? Okay. You were very, very quick to survive that. Torpid. Torpid and smoke up. Come on! They're most definitely in range. Seriously, send them out. You're going to be dead any moment. Come on! I know you're trying to outturn your torpedo launchers. Yeah, told you. And now you won't launch because the battleships are potentially getting blocked by the sinking Luishi. Uh oh. See, with with gameplay like this, I'm not even sure if I should be uploading this at all. Because it seems to be just... It's just one large clusterfuck. And you guys keep watching me fail time and time again. Is that really interesting to watch? Torpedoes away from the Mudanjang. You have launched. At least these guys will not have a lot of turning opportunity. Because they can't go anywhere without getting hit by something. Looks like the Sazanami might take some torpedo or might take some uh, more damage from the 4 inch and 5 inch guns that I have. Oh, the heavy cruiser really got beat up by those torps. That's about to get worse. They must be aware of the torpedoes now. Range 1 5. Yeah, Setsu is not going to get hit there. Mudanjang torped. Jinhua torped. You still have torpedoes. But the battleships are still moving away. Alright, launch it. The rate at which these guys can do damage is just overwhelming. And the way with which these guys are outmaneuvering my torpedoes is fantastic. There's just no way that I'm going to hit these fuckers. Damn. This too is not going to work. I'm 
surprised you got this close to the fleet. Oh, yeah, sure. We're able to hit destroyers with torpedoes, but anything bigger than that? Not so much. Come on. Kaga, there's a whole wall of skill coming your way. Anything? You have many bulkheads and you have an anti-torp 3. No, you're turning right into a few of them. That's three, four, five torps. Putting our structural integrity down to 74%, but I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Let's see if I can turn the Jining into a torpedo. Right. Do I have any ships which are undamaged? Yeah, not many. You are going to be in a world of hurt real soon. I'm going to try and ram the cargo. Because I think that that's really, currently with the Jining, considering her lack of torpedoes, the only option that I have. Just ram the la- Or not. The cargo was not in the mood to get rammed and immediately wiped her out with one or two 20 inch hits. One. For f five and a half thousand damage. Aggressively launch your torpedoes. Xi Jinping, move. Move. There is no restriction for the amount of ships that have to survive on my team. So I'm just going to keep sending ships at you. I got a whole bunch of ships coming this way. I was wondering where the rest of the fleet was. Triple fire on the DD. And she's done. She did? No, she's not done. She did just before she's going down launch her torpedoes. There. This one also does not have any torpedoes ready. And I'm worried about the Kaga and her 20 inch ability to eliminate my little cruisers. Like that. If I can approach from the bow, I might be able to survive for as long as possible. Because she's not able to bring most of the guns to bear. But then again, we've seen that she only needs to get lucky once. Make a very, very small profile. Oh, no! Ship was so close to being in range. Torpedoes out on the battleship. Just the wrong battleship. Good lord. Lanfang targets Setsu aggressively. Oh, you don't even have torpedoes anymore. Great, you're just going to be a shell magnet then. Just function as th something that attracts attention. You torped. You're not even heading in the same direction anymore. And the rest of the battle group's over here. This is never going to work. Right, well, I'm going to leave it with you guys in the comment section. How would you recommend that I try and take this challenge on? Battleships didn't work. Or at least not the way that I was trying it. Battle cruisers don't work. Torpedoes definitely don't work. Although they have, so far, I think, managed to make the most success, the, the, the managed to get the most damage in. So let me know down below in the comment section, what should I do and how should I take these guys down? Looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with, and I'll, t I'll try it again sometime next week. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon for another video.